welcome back to another episode of Instapot Dads. <laughs> I'm Joey. It does seem like it's an Instapot uh, show, doesn't it? We are a Whole Foods uh, cooking channel, mostly doing the starch solution. Sometimes there's some episodes with Tim. If you like what you hear so far, please hit that like button, show us some love, and think about subscribing and becoming part of the Plant Based Dads family. So I want to thank our Patreons for uh, supporting us and our PayPal supporters. Uh, if you don't know, the Patreons and PayPal uh, supporters are our financial supporters that help us put the show together and get the plant-based message out to the community every week. If you ever thought about uh, how you can help, if you've seen the show or if you're in the Facebook group and thought, how can I help? How can I be part of this? That's how you can help. You can become a Patreon, uh, which is a monthly support or a one-time PayPal uh, supporter on PayPal. One of the benefits of being a financial supporter is you get the video link up to 48 hours early, usually on uh, Saturday morning, but sometimes on Friday nights, I send the link to Monday's video and then you can watch it before anyone else has and comment and all that. And I'm more likely to return those comments or comment on those comments or respond to those comments than I am, you know, when it hits Monday and I've got a thousand comments. There'll be a link to Patreon and PayPal in the description below this video. Think about becoming a financial supporter of the show. We can absolutely use your help. Okay, so today uh, I've got a little bit of time. We got back from uh, Minneapolis uh, this week. We're leaving for North Carolina uh, in five days to see Madison graduate, uh, another one of my nieces. And then I get back and I go right into surgery. So uh, we've got a little bit of time to film a video here and that's what we're doing. I'm going to show you how to make an Instapot version of our 10 vegetable soup. This is based on the 10 vegetable soup we have and one of our uh, subscribers and members in the Facebook group, Laura B, uh, went to the trouble of making this Instapot version of the soup. So I want to thank Laura for doing that and I've changed it up a little bit the, from the way she does it, uh, but I think you're really going to like what we've put together here. People ask me about this soup all the time. It is an amazing meal. It's a filling meal. It's got all your vegetables in it. It's got your starch in it. Uh, and you know, as far as soup goes, like when you start eating this, you like have to eat everything on your plate and you probably want another bowl. I don't make this that often because I feel like it's a lot of prep work. I mean, there's 10 vegetables in it. And you know, I just, I hate to clean and cut vegetables, even though I do it every day. Um, so I make it when Tim's home because he loves that. He just wants the soup. So he doesn't mind doing the work. And then I'm fine just throwing stuff in, right? And throwing it in Instant Pot. So you're absolutely gonna love this. We're talking about three minutes of Instant Pot cook time and the soup is ready. This is the single most popular recipe on the website, uh, plantbasedads.net. If you didn't know we had all of our recipes on our website, it's at plantbasedads.net. And there's a reason for it. It's a very hearty and filling soup and it's a meal all by itself. Plus, it's done in the Instapot. Like, you throw the vegetables in, you cook it, and it's ready to go. So, I mean, you know me, like, if I can make something in the Instapot, I'm totally doing it. This recipe makes about half the soup that the original recipe makes. The, the original recipe makes a lot of soup, right? You'd have to freeze some of it and all that, which we do. This recipe only makes an Instapot full of it, and I don't ever have to freeze that. It's usually gone within probably 72 hours uh, with me and Tim eating it. And, and I mean, that's just the way it works. So be mindful of that. If you're making this for a family of five or whatever, you might want to make the original version. It makes a lot more soup. Otherwise, if it's just you and the hubs or the wife or whatever, then, uh, then make the Instapot version uh, and that should take care of both of you. All right, I put a lot of work into showing you just the right way to do this. I really think you're gonna love it. If you got an Instapot, get ready. Let's get to the food. The first thing we need to do is get the barley cooked. Because the barley takes longer to cook in the Instant Pot than the vegetables, we have to cook it first. I'm starting with a half a cup of pearl barley. I'm tossing the bulk pearl barley into the strainer here and washing it to clean it. Since I buy it in the bulk bin, I wanna make sure it's clean before I use it. And then I'm just gonna let it sit there for a minute and I'm gonna shake it around just to kind of get the excess water out. After that, I'm gonna take it and toss it right into the Instant Pot and then I'm gonna add my water. It's a two one ratio. So two parts water, one part dry barley. So I'm using one cup of water for the half cup of dry barley. Next, I'm gonna add the top on, lock it in place, set the valve to sealing position, and then I'm gonna set my Instant Pot for manual pressure, 15 minutes. Once the cooking time is done, I'm gonna do a natural release for 10 minutes. After that, I'll let out the remaining steam. If you look here, you can see the pin, it's about to drop. And when that happens, there'll be no more pressure left in the pot. Just keep an eye out for it here. And there it goes right there. It just dropped right into the pot. The pressure is gone. Now I'm gonna open the lid and there's my cooked barley. 
If you wound up putting too much water in, that's okay. Just strain the barley out back into the strainer again and it'll be ready to use. But it is cooked and it's ready to go. I'm gonna need to take the barley out of this Instapot so I can use it again. Now I've got a clean Instapot and I'm gonna add a little bit of water for saute. We're not using oil here. Then I'm gonna press the saute button on the Instapot to get that heated up. Once the water starts steaming, the saute is ready, I'm gonna start adding my veggies. Here I've got one yellow onion, a half a cup of carrot sliced, one half a cup of celery sliced, one half of a bell pepper, I use the yellow one, one poblano pepper seeded and diced, two garlic cloves minced, and I also threw in a little uh, chili pepper from our garden. I'm just gonna dump those right into the steaming water so I can get my saute on. Then I'll grab my uh, wooden spoon and give this a little mixy mixy so they can all cook together. And I'm gonna steam those for about five minutes. You can see here they're starting to soften up until everything is nice and soft and the onions are translucent. After about five minutes and everything seems steamed and ready to go, I'm gonna start with my spices. Here I've got a half a tablespoon of cumin, one half a tablespoon of paprika, one half a tablespoon of rosemary, a half a tablespoon of basil, one teaspoon of Himalayan salt, one teaspoon of white pepper, a half a teaspoon of onion powder, and a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And I'm just gonna dump those right into the Instant Pot. I'm gonna use my wooden spoon, mix it around. I'm gonna let it cook for about 30 seconds, maybe a minute. I just wanna get the uh, spices activated with the veggies. If you need to add just a little bit more water, add a tablespoon or two. Next, I'm adding one tablespoon of tomato paste. I'm gonna mix that in there. I want the tomato paste to brown and caramelize down there. You can see the stuff sticking to the bottom. That's what I want. So I'm gonna keep moving around. I don't want it to burn, but I do want it to stick to the bottom. After a few minutes, you can see on the bottom, it's nice and caramelized and stuck to the bottom. I'm gonna add a half a cup of veggie broth. And this is gonna allow me to deglaze the bottom of the pan. So I'm gonna grab my wooden spoon again, and I'm gonna use my spoon to scrape all of that stuff off the pan. You see how uh, all of that stuff is now coming off, and that's all the flavor right there, right? And you can now see the bottom, the chromeness in the bottom of the pan. That's what you want. Use a wooden spoon for this, not a, not a uh, silicone one, because that won't work, all right? It's gotta be something stiff. So the wooden spoon is gonna get all of that flavor off the bottom. That's all your soup flavor right there. Get every bit of it. Once you've scraped all that flavor off the bottom, it's time to shut the Instant Pot off. Now we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients. First, I'm adding six cups of veggie stock. I'm using Better Than Bullion. After that, I'm adding one tablespoon of rice vinegar. And Tim said I hadn't filled up the spoon enough, so I needed to put some more in. No comment. Next, I'm adding one tablespoon of reduced sodium soy sauce. After that, I'm adding the pearl barley that we cooked previously. Next, I'm adding one tablespoon of chia seeds. And then I'm gonna use my wooden spoon here to give it a little mixy mixy. Now I'm adding one 15 ounce can of garbanzo beans drained and rinsed. Next I'm adding one 15 ounce can of roasted diced tomatoes. After that I'm adding about two cups of frozen corn. You can see here I'm using the Trader Joe's uh, frozen roasted corn. After that I'm adding one cup of frozen peas. And then I'm gonna grab my spoon and give it another little mixy mixy here. Look at those colors. I mean, doesn't that look amazing? You know this is gonna be a good soup. And then finally, before I put the cover on, we're adding a bay leaf for flavor. Not that it needs it, because I've made it without the bay leaf, and it tastes just as good. Now I'm gonna put the cover on, lock it in place, set the bow at the ceiling position, and we're gonna set this for three minutes. This is why we had to cook the pearl barley first, because it takes way more than three minutes to cook in the Instapot. After three minutes, I'm gonna let the pressure release naturally for 15 minutes. If there's still pressure in it after that, then I'm gonna do a manual release. Again, wait for the pressure pin to drop into the lid before you open the lid. That's your indication that it's ready to open. All right, let's open this up and see what we have. Oh, look how good this looks. What a beautiful soup. Look at all those veggies. Oh man, I can't wait to eat this. All right, we're not done yet. I'm gonna grab my spoon here and give it a little mixy mixy. And oh look, there's the uh, bay leaf I forgot all about. Let's pretend that I remembered that was in there. Now I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of freshly squeezed lime juice and then about three cups of spinach. I'm just using fresh spinach here uh, from the produce aisle. I just try to fit as much of it in as I can, and then I just kind of take my spoon and kind of get it in there. It's gonna wilt really fast, so this process won't take long. It's just like a minute has passed. You can see it's, it's gotten really smaller, so the spinach really wilts fast. And here you can see it's wilted and ready to go. It's time to plate this baby up. Now I've got my beautiful dollar store soup bowl here. Don't judge. And I'm just gonna ladle this out. Normally I wouldn't have the pan right in the video with me, but this is gonna be messy. So I'm just ladling this out and filling this uh, soup bowl up. You can see I'm still getting it everywhere, right? But I don't care. 
If you're not making a mess, you're not creating art. And though, of course, even though I say it's okay to make a mess, you know me, I'm OCD. I had to clean every bit of this up. So I'm just kind of cleaning up around the bowl, cleaning the top of the bowl. I want it to look really good for uh, photos here. And perfection, ready to go. Next, I'm gonna add a little rosemary right from the garden. I don't know why we just didn't use this rosemary for the spice, but okay. But it smells amazing. And now I'm adding some fresh cut parsley on top, just for a little color. And there you have it, a beautiful bowl of our Instapot 10 vegetable soup. Dinner's waiting, let's dig in. All right, so that's not too bad. There's a lot of prep work to it, but you know, once it goes in the Instant Pot, it's a bing bang boom and it's done. All right, let's have, have a taste here. I, I mean, I could smell it, it smells so delicious. Before I even do that, you can see here, uh, I've got a beautiful bowl of 10 vegetable soup. I've sprinkled some uh, fresh parsley on top, as you can see there. And uh, I mean, look how good this looks. Look at all that chunkiness and uh, all those veggies. It's just a whole bowl food of nourishing goodness. Like everything you need in your life is right here in this bowl. So let's give this a shot and see how it tastes. Mmm. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Woo. I can see why this soup is like a fan favorite. Mmm. Mmm. Oh man. Mmm. This is absolutely delicious. So, I don't, people are like, you know, soup is a wintertime thing. I'm sorry, I eat soup all year round. I eat it in the summer. In fact, when this, this recipe, like I said, is one of our most popular recipes. It's one of our most popular videos too, and it came out in the summer. Um, and I was like, oh, I'm a little apprehensive about it doing a soup video in the summer, and bam, it hit, and people loved it. Um, I feel like most of you, I would think, like soup all year round. I mean, maybe there is some winter soup people only out there, but I think the majority of people are like me, and when soup is offered, you'll take it, right? So to me, there's no soup season. Soup season is every month, right? Uh, hopefully you feel the same way. All right, there it is, the Instant Pot version of our 10 vegetable soup. It's so delicious, and now it's an easier way to make it in a much more smaller, manageable size. All right, that's our video for today. Please hit that like button, show us some love. What's not to love? We have another Instant Pot recipe. If you haven't subscribed yet, Hit that subscribe button, click on that bell, you'll get notified every time we have a new video, usually every Monday. And please, leave a comment below. Are you a soup all year person like me, or do you only do soup in the winter and you just aren't gonna deal with it during the summer? Let me know below, uh, and I don't wanna start any like controversy or anything, but just let me know your thoughts below, uh, and we'll see if you agree with me. I would love to hear it. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.